Good evening, everybody. Very excited about tonight's episode. This is the first installment of The Scrolls of Uncertainty. Two new people we have with us. Uh, Tyler from Syracuse is back again. DeLeo from Philadelphia is back again. We have Colin, who is calling out of Baltimore, Maryland. Hello, Colin. And Reed Scott, who is in Arlington, Virginia. Hello, Reed. How is everybody doing? Doing fantastic. It's a Friday night. It's late. Tyler's been sipping on some vino. Uh, Do you guys hear that noise? Yeah. Yeah. What is that noise? Sounds like someone's having a painful shave. (laughs) I don't hear it. Huh? I don't hear it. Now it's good. Someone stopped it. (laughs) Someone is playing with us. It was Deli Reed. I'm pretty sure it's Colin. What uh, what is it? It's loud. It's like, it's like sh- <laughs> I'd be the headphones. Maybe it's the headphones. You want me to drop them? We'll just drop them for a second and see what if that changes. Right. Yep. It was the headphones, dude. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> it was your headphones for days. I don't even know where I was. I'm I'm gonna explain everything. I have, I have this whole intro planned. That's gonna be an interactive intro. It's an interactive introduction. So what we're going to do is we're going to light our candles. And as soon as the candles are lit, it's go time. All right, let's, everybody, here we go. Oh, shit. Me too, wow, dude. how many triple wicks we got out there tonight? What does your smell like, Reed? Uh, Aloha, kiwi, and passion fruit. <laughs> oh, I'm always catching rays. CC Yankee. All right, are we ready? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Our four brave travelers make their way through the lands of the unknown on their noble quest. DeLeo the Wise sees a bridge in the distance and exclaims, Holy shit, there's a bridge. <laughs> As they approach the bridge, a hooded figure appears from the shadows and says, Who dare wish to cross the bridge of questionnaire? Colin, the galleon, responds. Uh, can you repeat that? Sorry. But... <laughs> Wait, really? Yes, I didn't hear it at all. Oh, man. <clears throat> As they approach the bridge, a hooded figure appears from the shadows and says, Who dare wish to cross the bridge of questionnaire? Colin, the galleon, responds. The, the legion of, of heck. <laughs> <laughs> if you wish to cross, you must first answer these questions from the, the scrolls of uncertainty. Do you find yourself worthy? Tyler the Sneaky responds. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Are you ready? Wait, I lost my point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I don't have anything to say to Reed, but I I wanted I wanted to know that I called him Reed the Buzzed. That's your night name, Reed the Buzzed. Yeah, All right, so here's the rules. <laughs> Schools of uncertainty. Uh, so I'm going to go, we're just going to go around the room. Everybody's going to pick a, pick a number between one and 77. Um, and then I'm going to read the question and whoever picks the number answers first, but everybody's still going to answer. I changed this into a game show. So now I'm going to reward points to the answers I like the best wow. based on absolutely oh, So nothing. there's a winner. So there's, a winner. there's a winner. There's a winner oh. at the end. Well, don't get too excited. Uh, if you say a repeat, uh, Reed wanted to be Reedrick. I'm sorry, Reedrick. If you say a repeat number, you have to do 20 push ups. <laughs> Did you just text him that? Yeah, he said, I'd rather be Reedrick. <laughs> Did you say it out loud, you weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colin, you're white. Reed is red. Deleo's blue. Tyler's green. All right, so I'm going to pick the first one. Who's blue? I think I am. Deleo's blue. All right, so the order is going to be Deleo, Tyler, Reed, Colin. Deleo, so you're up first. So you have questions one through 76. <clears throat> and remember, if you guys pick a re- 76. If you guys pick a repeat number, you have to do 20 push ups. Ooh, I love it. So that we all do, or whoever picks has to. Whoever picks. Reed, Reed, no yawns, kid. Wake up. Uh, number 34. Okay. Number 34. Ooh. Barkley Sixers starts off with a good one. Langley High School. All right, here you go. (laughs) If you were 
If you were playing dead and a grizzly bear came up to you and was sniffing you, would you able to keep keep composure or would you get too scared causing him to find you and eat you? I don't know. And I, I've thought about this like before, whether it be grizzly bear, whether it be hiding under <laughs> your bed and like someone <laughs> in your house and they're going to kill you. Yeah, like, like if from Taken? Like I, I, taken? Mean, I don't know. I honestly do not know. I'd like to think. You'd like to think what? I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, you got to give an answer. I think, I think with a human, I think with a human, I would (laughs) keep my shit together. With an animal, I might shit my pants. All right. So, Delay's no. Tyler, what do you got? Well, shit my pants Uh, and make noise is two different things. But but if you shit your pants, that makes noise. (laughs) I feel like you would know you're alive. I mean, I'd like to smell it. I guess. I'd like to think I'm so afraid of dying that I would do the right thing and be silent but at the same time i feel like i would just freak out so i'm I'm gonna say i'd do the right thing and have some heart and be quiet all right reed i think i could play dead i think i could keep my composure wow that's an i don't agree with that at all (laughs) it's either that or you're gonna die so I, i would probably die colin go ahead uh, I've been training my whole life for something like this. I was obsessed with bears as a kid, as you guys all know. Um, so, like, I know the first thing to do is, yeah, you, you're going to want to play dead. But also, you guys are talking about, um, you know, how pooping your pants is. And the bears eat your butt and like, your because it's the hottest and, like, warmest part. So, they eat your butt first. So, they're going to be eating that poop. So, at least if you do go out, you know, just know that he's eating that, that poop first. I got a question for you, uh, Colin. I'm pretty sure. So grizzly bears and black bears are totally different, correct? Grizzly bears are the more aggressive, I think. Yeah, grizzly bears and brown bears, same type of bear, just grizzlies have more food and they they get bigger. Well, no, but right. one, like I know one, like because they say like if you're on the Appalachian Trail, right? For example, it's like if you run into black. one buff, black bear, you run into the other, you're okay. You're not going to run into a brown bear on the Appalachian. It's going to be all black bears. Well, black bear, but black bears black are grizzly. really big. Like, What's up? Say it again, Delay. A black bear versus a grizzly bear, though, right? Uh, grizzly bears are like can get to like eleven feet tall. Black bears get to like five, six. Okay, so grizzly bears are the more dangerous of. Not bears. even close. Polar bears number one, grizzly number two. What? Wow. But between so this between is grizzly insane. And black. <laughs> you want to see a black bear because they don't really kill. They'll kind of like play with you. Black bear. How do you, how do you know it's a black bear? It, it's black. Yeah, I just, I just do, they, do they look totally different? Does a grizzly they're, look grizzly? Yeah, they're black. They're, they're completely black. different colors, what's dude. A grizzly, what's a grizzly bear look like? Brown. A big brown burly bear. It's like huge dude, and fat. Black you bears need to watch my animal fat. planet. The one is brown and one is black. Correct. Okay. Dude, Delilah, there's an if you're in this situation, you're not even gonna know what bear it is. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be it's gonna be like a raccoon and you're gonna be get like uh oh. All right, question twenty two. This is a question we've actually had a discussion before. What are, your top, what are your top five favorite Will Ferrell movie characters? Tyler, you go first. Old school. <laughs> you're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> Other guys kicking and screaming. Yes. For sure, yeah. Uh, I'll give Anchorman just because it's Anchorman. This is tough for me because you guys know I'm not your traditional Will Ferrell guy, so I'm probably going to lose a lot of points on this. Hey, your list has been good so far. Yeah, your list is actually pretty solid. Oh, for, oh semi-pro for days. Semi, I shouldn't have even put Anchorman in. Damn, uh, semi-pro for days. All right, Reed. All right. Talladega Nights, for sure. Other guys. Gator don't play no shit. You hear, You feel me? Gator never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. Step Brothers. Um... <laughs> Old school, and we'll go Elf. Wow, sick. Con. Okay. Um, I'm going <laughs> Ca- Cowbell from SNL. <laughs> Even the movie was short. That's fine. That's a great call. Um, I'm going to go <laughs> old, old school, superstar. You're this way, and I'm, I'm that way. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. And then Ricky, is that four or five? Is that Ricky That's Bobby? Four. Ricky Bobby. All right. All right. So I'm going to go Talladega Nights. 
Zoolander. Tinka Inga Bogovna na na. Ooh, that, that, I was gonna, I was gonna say that. I that's a, that's a tough Anchorman. loss. I shouldn't have said anchor man. I get, I gave the popular people a vote there. Who got to? <laughs> Step brother. <laughs> Elf. And probably anchor man. Oh, we almost had old school four for four. <laughs> when we had this conversation on Twitter, I forget who it was Tyler. I think it was one of your friends who was like. How about the dude he plays in the one Austin Powers movie when he's like, when he like falls <laughs> the off the cliff? Yeah, that's good. I, just, the I, was just, I was just thinking about all of his movies. I was like, he's the bad yeah. guy in Austin Night, Night at the Roxbury, too, man. He's super I know, funny. and you just saw that one. That's a, there's so many good ones. Uh, yeah. Tyler and Colin both get 400. Kicking Reed and DeLeo both get 300. Kicking and screaming. Kicking and screaming. Fuck. You, I did numbers. You, you got 100 down, points. You down to down got uh, outtakes. Oh, dude. The plum? When yeah. he's like eating the plum? I can feel like a plum. Colin, you're up. 64 still. If Tony Stark uh, is making you a personalized Iron Man suit, what specializations would you want it to include? Um, a, a lazy boy button so you can just <laughs> sit sit comfortably whenever you need to. Did I feel you? All on right. That? You know, anytime you need comfort, you have it. Because it looks uncomfortable in there. That's fine. Delayo, answer. Wait, 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 it was any anything anything at all. Period. Anything. I mean, I guess I would imagine ta- Colin went the route of comfort. I would imagine you'd want something to fight what with. Your question, if you could add anything to the Iron Man suit, what would it be? If he was making you your own Iron Man suit, what oh. specializations would you want it to include? More than one, huh? Um, or your most desirable? Because like every single suit he made was had a specific main feature or something like that i don't Collins know would be have a lazy boy um <laughs> just I'd useless in combat want the ability to be invisible um that's a great one and i would also want it to be impenetrable and i think they mostly all are already so that's a check all right well yeah. cool just make just extra check just to make sure an okay. extra layer okay sure. yeah like <laughs> double check all right um and yeah invisible yeah i love it that's great it's good choice that's good um tyler it's just one thing or it can be anything or what is it it can be uh, my would, whatever my would just be time travel <laughs> <laughs> Wrong with that? You, said you just like hit a button and just time travel. I mean, that's what I was gonna you say. Get, also, you get in this, you get in the suit, and it's like, great Scott, <laughs> and you're gone. All right, love yeah. it. Basically, the last movie was that premise. Yeah. Yeah. Reed, what's yours? Was it though? Because I just watched it. Reed. It wasn't at all. Yeah. They weren't. That wasn't built into the suits. He built like a time machine, but it wasn't built, built into the suits suit. Different that could go back. Like, oh, you're talking about. I, I thought you were talking about Back to the Future. Yeah, I, 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 was, I, was, I was following. I was following with Reed. I got you, Reed. Thanks. Uh, All right, Reed, what's yours? And, uh, uh, can they already go into like space? Yeah. I assume so. They have limited oxygen supply, though. Uh, well, I want to go to like different planet that'd be pretty sweet but it all right so like space travel no nope, you can do Colin that i already said you got limited oxygen but i can go back in time <laughs> all right he could... beverage dispenser like a camelback that's nice <laughs> so i'm sure he already has that installed but maybe so maybe not back to Deleo. question number 76 if you wow Tyler did this before. If you were pulled on stage at a concert, any concert, what song would you be most confident in your ability to perform to a crowd of 80,000 people? Wow. Um, so probably easy. All Star by Smash Mouth. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It's a hit. Yep. Love it. Hell yeah. The, 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 the Shrek version or regular? <laughs> I wait. We didn't get an answer. He said Shrek version or regular, or original day. Shrek. <laughs> yeah. 
Why are you so baffled by that? Definitely regular. <laughs> okay, Tyler, you're up. Um, yeah, can you do a question? Too. No. What is what song would you? Oh, well, would you choose the one from Rocky Fresh? And also, do you want to tell that story or no? I won't choose Rocky Fresh. I'd let you tell the story, and I would do "Linger" by the Cranberries. <laughs> And I would want a hundred thousand people, not eighty. <laughs> wow! You want me to tell the story real quick or no? Yeah, fired away. All right, real quick. A bunch of us went to a Rocky Fresh concert in Virginia. It was a pretty small venue. Would like? Do you think it was like a hundred? Yeah, in Java, it's probably like uh, one hundred fifty. Probably like less than that. Four hundred fifty. Oh, wow. Much more than that. All right. So less than 500 people. Rocky Fresh was performing. Wow. Jam and Java, 200. Two, I was going to say 450 seen a lot. 200 people. We were in the very front. Rocky Fresh starts a song. What song was it? Uh, what do you mean? Jeez. It started with like impossible. Nothing. Yeah. Whatever. He starts a song. Tyler yells, oh, I know all the words of the song or something stupid that Tyler yells at people. <laughs> and he heard it and was like, cut off the music, brought Tyler on stage, and Tyler rocked the first verse of that song. We all thought it was going to be on World Star Hip Hop. It was not. But it was still great. It was close. It, it would have been. But, but what? He just, got, he just got signed by Rick Ross literally that week, which yeah. is the coolest part about the whole thing. <laughs> Um, where are we? Reed. I think it was me. I'm not sure about me singing, but uh, I'll go "Stairway to Heaven" by uh, Led Zeppelin. Oh. <laughs> wow, that is not something I would expect you to say. Colin, you're up. Eight minutes. Oh, cool. uh, Wait, can I can I comment real quick? I would pay everything in my bank account <laughs> to see Reed Scott half to sing in front of eighty thousand people. <laughs> Yep. Whatever, uh, whatever song, but I would literally pay every every single thing I own to, to see that. Do you that. think he would faint? Yes. I don't know, but the only way I'd do it is if he was literally handcuffed or like ankle cuffed to the stage so he couldn't leave. Wait, yeah, does he, he have a better chance of dying in that situation or <laughs> sniffing him? 100% that one. I would oh, say the concert what? one. I think he'd have a better chance of surviving if there was a grizzly bear sniffing him to see if he was still alive oh, 100%. and just sing in front of 80,000 people. <laughs> Easy. Right. Easy. Colin, have you given an answer to this one yet? No, no I haven't, but I have one. <clears throat> it's uh, Dust in the Wind by uh, Kansas. Yep. 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 That's my go-to. That one come in a mile away. Uh, yep. The Frank the Tank version or the actual <laughs> Yeah, you got to throw your My Boy Blue in there. You got to go. I close my you You guys all gave great answers um tyler you're up tyler would you rather defend a castle or attack one repeat that one more time would Would you rather defend a castle or attack one oh my god this is we talked we talked about this we've talked about this before Uh, after talking to some of my uh fellow podcasters i believe i would rather attack one because is this just me right now? I'm going to say just me right now with no fighting experience or any mental preparation to fight or defend a castle. I would definitely attack one because just like one of my fellow podcasters said, I would just either sneak off when no one was looking or I would <laughs> fake an injury so hard. And then just after everyone went, I would just leave. Pull a, pull a rich best. <laughs> yeah, I would pull the biggest rich best of all time. Easily. Oh man. Uh Reed. Wait, you dude, you haven't announced our points the last like three things. <laughs> I know, I'm writing them down. Alright. I think it's better that way, Matt. I thought it was whose line, so the points don't matter. They don't matter, but I'm still writing them down. Got it. No, it matters. You're a great Drew Carey. Reed, you're gone. Um similar to what Tyler said. I would uh, definitely play dead in a fight battle. (laughs) We would all die. I would play dead like I was actually dead just to survive. I would probably uh, be in the castle. And then I would try to escape, probably. Hey, hey, that answer. I'll I'll explain it later. Uh, Defending the castle, but he would prefer to defend. 
It's the advantage. So the advantage, Colin, you're up. So you would just give up your land. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, until we were losing, then I would play dead. I love I love that Reed just saw a bear once and he's like, I learned how to play dead. Now I'm just playing dead the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Three quarters of my answers were play dead this whole time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Would you sing in front of 80,000 people? I would get on stage and play dead. <laughs> <I'm> play dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colin, go ahead. Um, is, so so kind of like a clarifying question. Is it a, like, it, historically sieges would take like 120 days and basically you just wait them out until they starved. So I would be on the attacking side because as, and then they would throw like bubonic plague bodies in. So like the plague would get through and then like you're starving and you run out of water and supplies. So like, you gotta be on the attacking side. Obviously they can run out of supplies too. It's kind of like this battle of supply chains. So um, sometimes they would win, sometimes they would not. Like very rarely there would ever be someone actually attacking a castle. It'd be like, okay, everyone died in there or they're too weak to fight, I can go fight them. Or the people attacking run out of supplies. Yeah, you remember remember Blackfish and Jamie Lannister's convo? It's the same shit, dude. That's that's how they all went. But if, if if we're actually in the fight, I think I think it's better to be defending, like on the actual defending. fight. Yeah, because you have the high ground and you have the you have the the, the battlements. It's, wow, it's, it's one eighty. Yeah, wait, didn't you just? Oh, okay, so if you're actually fighting, you would rather defend. Yeah. Okay. High ground always wins. Helms deep. But like, didn't you just say? That like sieges like never work. Yes, well, said, all encompassing. He would rather attack, but if there was a gun to your head and you said you had to fight, and like you're you're actually storming the castle. That's like oh, just so not- like when the actual fighting is happening, you would rather be yeah. in the castle. Oh well, I would agree with that. If you want to, yeah, I would agree with that statement. All right, Delayo, your last up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if if it was a full on attacking or defending scenario, I would 100 percent rather attack for just the scenario of you have all options at your disposal, whether it be go full steam ahead, whether it be wait them out, whether it be, I need to retreat. But if you're defending and you lose, you die. I agree with DeLeo. I'm going to let, I'm going to give you a lot of points for that. Colin, you got a lot of points too. We all, we all have the same answer. <laughs> no, Reeds was play dead. Don't forget. <laughs> He's right. got the lowest amount of points, but he's still got a pretty good amount of points. Um, I think Played Reed's up. 55. 55. If, oh, I love this question. If you were a chess piece, if you were a chess piece, what piece would you be? As for me, I'll be a knight. Wow. Uh, it's got to be the queen. She can do okay. it all. So she can do it all. She does have the highest, t- the biggest target on her back. No, the king does. Okay, she has the second biggest target on her back. I would. Too. I would. I would honestly argue that the queen has a bigger target on her back. I would too, because you can't really get the king. It's fine. And the queen's more dangerous than the king. All right, but that's fine. Read said the queen. Who's up? Uh, Colin. A pawn, because I like to get used. <laughs> Simple and sweet, Delia. That's tough, man. So, okay, question: If we were, if I was playing chess, what piece would I want to be? Period. That's it. Yeah. If you were a piece, what piece would you want to be? If like I was playing Colin in chess, and you were the a piece on the makes board, the winning move. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. Oh. That's a technicality. I mean, either king or queen. I mean, probably. Fuck, I don't know. Wow, I want you to. I honestly just want you to stick with the one that makes the winning. Yeah, dude, just yeah, stick to your guns. Because I've already written down a bunch of. You got six hundred points for that one. <laughs> um, Tyler, last. But I'm gonna go with a kinga because the king of the north never bows down. Okay. That's I. Like, I don't hate that at all, Colin. Qu- Number. Um, 33. Larry Legend and Larry Walker. Love it. 55. Reed Scott. Bad jersey number for him. 55 is the worst number for Reed Scott. All right, Colin. If you were in a car chase, 
what m vehicle or mode of transportation would you want to be driving both My as job. the chaser and the chased? It can be like a real car or it can be like a made up car. It can be literally any car, motorcycle, truck, tank, um, anything on the ground. So I think, I think the, the, the correct answer is, um, more than crazy taxi, the crazy taxi. That can, <laughs> cause, cause that car would go so fast. It could turn on a dime and I'm pretty sure it could fly at times. And sometimes it would shoot flames out too. And plus if it's a taxi, you don't actually have to drive, which is kind of like the, the, ner the nerve wracking part too. That was awesome. Deleo. Um, so let's see if I was chasing someone else, I would probably be driving some sort of Mustang to be completely honest. Um, and then a classic would, or a new one? Um, somewhere in between. <laughs> it's a, a 1992 Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And if I, if I was being chased, if I was away, or if I was, you know, trying to get away or evade, I would be driving whatever car I owned at that time. Like whatever car I knew was my, like I knew inside hmm. that, whether, it, was, whether it be a beater or whatever. That, the that Nissan. What's up? The Maxima, the, dude. The, yeah, that Nissan you had. Yeah, it was Ultima. But I mean, even or if Ultima. it was a Volvo, whatever. The one that is that the one that Reed stole from you in college? The one that <laughs> only you and Reed both. Uh, in terms Tyler, of McDonald's. Okay. Tyler, you're up. <clears throat> There's an what obvious answer for you that I'm shocked that you haven't said yet. So technically, uh, <laughs> look at that smile. Uh, the chaser. <laughs> The chaser, I'd go throwback to my mom's white PT Cruiser. That was invincible on it. But being chased, I'm going to go with a DeLorean DMC-12 because once I hit 88, baby, I'm gone. Wow. Wow. I love that. Reed. All right. I'm going to take Tyler's obvious answer and say the, the Batmobile. Yeah. I, that <laughs> would be my answer. 100%. All yeah, right. Give it to Reed. I, honestly, honestly, I'm a Batman hater. I think Scooby Doo is a better detective. <laughs> it's always that the same six people. At least Scooby Doo's picking so. out different people. All right, Colin, that solves it. We're not friends anymore, man. <laughs> I don't got six to zero. Six to zero. Would you ever go to space for any amount of time? Yeah. You would? Yeah. You want to elaborate on that or is that just a one word answer? Just to give reference, I think it's absolutely terrifying. I would train to go. You could die at any moment. I would go in orbit and come back. I would go and jump on the moon. I would fucking whatever. If I had the chance to do it, yeah. All right. Tyler. Um, would I ever go to space? That's the question. Yeah. Absolutely not. I Why? Really am, well, one, I'm scared of heights. <laughs> Two, I have, <laughs> so. Yes, space is the ultimate height. <laughs> well, okay. Well, you guys are laughing. You know, let me explain. Let me elaborate at first. I'm scared of heights, and I also literally can't ride roller coasters going, like, I don't know. Ever since I hit like 15, I just can't do roller coasters. When I when I go on the pirate ship, I think I'm my body's gonna fucking explode when I go up and down. You should see the faces I make. I literally I love everything about that. I literally couldn't imagine being in a rocket and going straight up. I think I would die. If the world was depending on it, I think I would just chill and die on the world uh, on Earth. I don't think I could take take the route to go up into space. Gonna be more in agreement with you, Reed. Uh, I agree with DeLeo. Um, I would definitely go up to space if I had the chance. I think that would be uh, pretty cool. Read with the emphatic answer. Colin, last one. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess. And it can't be one of the Elon Musk rockets. It's got to be the real deal from NASA. <laughs> All right. 
I just added some points to your answer. Go ahead, Colin. Uh, I got I got three things. So one, Warner von Braun, who invented NASA, uh, was a general in the SS, so he's a Nazi, and not, NASA is a Nazi organization. Uh, <laughs> two, uh, I would be the first one to join the the team going out there. I think an early adopter in space is the best way to go because then you get a couple streets named after you on Mars or whatever. And three, if there's aliens out there, you want to join the alien team, and because that's the correct team. You know, I would ditch the human team immediately for the alien team. Oh, uh, Colin! Wow, I respect Con. that. I respect that a lot. All right, you're up. Question number. I just ran, I just ranted right there. No, that was wonderful. Who's up? You are. I am? You are. Do you need a number? Yes, please. I hope you pick one that's already been said. 55. <laughs> are you joking? Yeah, five. Damn. Five. What is the earliest memory you possess? You guys are going to hate me. Um, there's a couple. I don't know. I want to say the earliest. It's tough for me. But, like, oh, but because I'm so obsessed with it, I feel like whenever I think about it, it always has to do with basketball. So it's either my first UNC game when I was five, which wouldn't be true because you said the earliest. So it had to be watching – Jordan, I don't really remember much anything before watching basketball. And I'm not just saying that. So I'd have to be watching basketball as a kid on the TV. Why did you say we were going to hate you for that answer? I think that's a very because nice I answer. Feel like I feel like some people just say I'm just lying about it, but that's really all I can remember is sitting on my living room floor with my brother and watching the Bulls just be great. You fucking liar. <laughs> you don't yes, remember that. All right, Reed, earliest memory you possess. Uh, I feel like it's tough to think of, like, one single memory that is your earliest. Yeah, I'll just think of a memory. Like, I was, like, three time. or four, so good luck. Even, like, old... you, 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 you probably have memories in there that, like, are your first memory, but, like, I'll, what I'm going to pick is, like, the most significant thing that I can think of because it still kind of sticks in my head. So if that helps. I would say just uh, – like playing outside the other kids in the neighborhood at my old, old, old house. Where was that? Uh, Ellicott City, Maryland. Tell us about it. Uh, townhouse across the street from... <laughs> no, not the house. Tell us about the memory. <laughs> it's good real estate. Playing I outside. I don't even know. I don't have any guys. Do would you get a stick maybe? Hit, you, would you ever hit your friend with a stick? Uh, I split a kid's head open once. Playing, with a stick. Uh, playing roller hockey. Jesus, you psycho. Street hockey. That's, yeah, that's, that took a, quite the turn, Reed. I, was like, I wasn't no, middle school. That. Though, that's not I just like, deducted yeah. points. Uh, my third birthday party, I got uh, Thomas the, the Train um, complete set. I got a bunch of trains and, like, a track that you could build and, like, a table. And I remember just being so happy. And that was like the first, I, I, I may have had memories before that, but that was like the first thing and like, it still sticks in my head. That's amazing. And like, yeah, I, I still see, and I still have the table too. Like I'll see it and I'll be like, wow, oh, that was like, it like Yo. three, like it was my third, three, the third birthday party. So That's Colin, so I don't know if you're going to remember this, your recruiting trip, we had a train uh, set. Yeah. Like I see trains and I get excited still. And yeah. you told us oh, we did story. have a train set and you told yeah. us that story. Like it, it's still like I see train like model trains and it like, like makes me happy because it reminds like you were telling that it's like linked like, in my brain of like that's like a like a happy thing for me. Yep. So that was a glorious. Damn, Colin's recruiting trip was sick. Yeah, Colin did have a good trip. <laughs> yeah, we got right. to his house. you came. Uh, before we go, on, I'm gonna You're read right. a quick word. A quick word from our sponsors, if you guys don't mind. <laughs> If you, a friend, a family member, are looking to buy or sell a home, contact J.C. Hollick today. <laughs> J.C. is a realtor with the Jesse Hoffman team of Taylor Properties. 
Serving all counties in Maryland and representing all levels of home buyers from first time to seasoned investors. He will educate you on the current market and help you get the most of your money. Contact JC Hollick today. That's sick. All right. Read your up. Question. Uh, mm. uh, I'll go 23. Oh, God. I want somebody to pick one that's already been done. Could you survive a week in the wilderness? With no supplies. What type of wilderness are we talking? The jungle. The jungle? I'm no, dead. not the jungle. You're dead. I'm, I'm dead. No, the answer is just dead. like Michael <laughs> Scott Forest. I have hemorrhoids. That was just, just make it make it consistent <laughs> across the board, man. Just the for yeah, just the forest in the wild. Yeah, I'm talking like like say you're in a plane and it crashes and you're the only survivor. Yeah, you're in like the but middle. Also, of still foot. wouldn't have survived there. I think. Uh, I think I could survive. Michael Scott wouldn't have survived in the Michael Scott spot. Michael Scott would have died in immediately because he was eating. He was about to eat poison berries before Dwight saved them. So Reed, you have a yes. You think you could survive a week I mean, in the wilderness? The key is to find uh, civilization quickly. I don't know if I'd last more than three days well so is the answer no then no i think i could find a water source and follow it to some road or something all right reed says yes but i think he's gonna die what if you follow it in the wrong direction yeah you stay you never know man all right reed's adamant uh colin (laughs) yes or no Um, can you make could you make a fire yeah i can make a fire oh that's huge colin could you make a fire not if i don't have flint Fire I don't think like, Reed can't make a fucking Reed, Reed's not going to be making like a, a wood drill to make a fire. I can make a fire, Colin. You can you you can make a wood drill to make fire without a flint. That's not the technique I would use. I would use a different technique. Well, what, what technique, you, Reed? A candle? You can't. Oh, you don't have a candle on you. I'm doing you the, uh, you the how, castaway. You don't know how, don't know how to make Tom a spin Hanks drill. castaway really fast like this. Dude, he made a spin drill. Yeah, but that one didn't work. The one that worked when he got air to it was just real quick like this. What, what did he do again? <laughs> just like this, and then he was good. All right, Reed, thanks. I, I, um, I think a week, it's all about finding water. I'm probably, I'm probably dead, but I think I have the Because literally all you need to do is be able – if you can drink water, you don't need food for seven you days. You don't need to eat for like 45 days. Yeah, as long as you have water, you're good. Yeah. So fire. But you need to be able to find water that's drinkable, though. So. Yeah, and that's you need fire, which Reed thinks he can make, but he can't. All right. Guess what? Right. No. Delayo. Reed, if you make a spin drill and you make fire, I will, <laughs> I will eat. I will make a letter to you, and I will eat it on this podcast. <laughs> I'll have right. it on record. I'm going to videotape myself making a fire out of nothing. Please. I would love, I would love to get tagged in a video. <laughs> I don't know. I think... I mean, I, it, w- it would le- legitimately all, it would all <laughs> end on being able to build a fire. And I, I mean, I don't know if I've ever successfully built a fire. I think I've maybe tried once for fun, but like it didn't happen. So I don't know. Delayo, you can do it. Absolutely. Right. I, I, mean, I think I would be able to, but like, I don't know for sure. I definitely think the three of you have a much better chance than Tyler. <laughs> Tyler's a baby, dude. He would die 100%. the first day. Tyler would die. Tyler would just Tyler would just get into the wilderness and just immediately start dying. <laughs> <laughs> and just so I don't even know, Tyler. Do you want to answer this question? Tyler, no, don't need to answer. Uh, I think uh, I don't know. I would have a lot of problems being yeah, wilderness. I think I would. I think I would. I think I would survive longer than Tyler, but just by like a little bit. Delayo, you're up. Uh, hit me with 15, please. Oh, I love this question. Vince Carter, Vince Carter, Vince Carter, Vince Carter. 15, you, f- you, DeLeo, you come across a treasure map. You are told that it is real and the treasure exists. Do you undergo the treasure map to try to find the treasure? No, I fucking throw it away like a fucking <coughs> idiot. Yeah, of course I do. All right, you have to drop your life and like go on a treasure quest. Which yeah, can take. and find $10 million? Okay, cool. 
and Which if could I take I forever. I make a documentary about it, and I still make a lot of money. It's Curse also probably Oak. dangerous. It's, there's a lot of perils. Curse of Oak Island. They haven't found shit, and they've made yes. millions of dollars. It's like my dad's like show. I feel like they're just breaking even on that, though. They fucking Dude, every them. episode. Every episode, they're like, find out next week. We're going to finally dig a hole, and then it's oh, next week. And they're next like, oh. We got an inch deeper. <laughs> um, but no, 100%. I would, I would drop everything. And I would immediately try to find a production team to follow me along. So if I don't I like find that it, angle, we're making something out of it. At this point in my life, yes. Like right now. <laughs> yes. If you said this to me when we were in college and we were all looking around each other after a Thrones episode, nah, I'm chilling. But right now, at this point in my life, yeah, send me off the grid. It's time. That's really dark. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> it got dark. It's um, nice to really have you really did have a bad Friday. <laughs> Reed, you're up. Um I would say, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's kind of like a like a dream just to drop everything and go after I don't know, something that could make Wow, a dream? Cool. Reed, you're really coming alive in these late rounds. <laughs> um yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> there's treasures in like the united states that some crazy guy has said is out there that people spend their sure. entire lives going and searching for so you have a read, would you or would you not ask nicholas cage to come with you oh you gotta you have to yeah you gotta I agree colin yes or no um, treasure map honestly it's probably shocking but i'm gonna say no <laughs> it's a huge uh, life loves his inconvenient life. I don't, I don't, by no means do I love my life. I just think, uh, I just, I think it's just a lot of time wasted and like, just looking at like the probability of it. It's like, I don't know, are the other rewards great for me losing 15 years on something that might not come true? And then just like being like spending my time on something else that might, it's like playing the lottery with your life kind of. So, and the lottery never wins. So that's, that's a, that's a serious Colin answer, but that was yeah. stupid. But. Dude, I'm gonna, I, I, so many people would pay to watch you try to find a treasure, though. Like, I definitely would. Me or Colin. Like, no, you can Tyler. make a special movie out of that. I mean, I, 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 I don't think people don't care about what I do. Treasure, you, know, man. you know, like, I just don't think people would be like, this guy's out there looking for <laughs> a, a, a rusty trombone, you know? Yo, throw you on Oak Island, you would make that show 30 times better. I, yeah. I just don't. I just don't think so. You said you said Otter Banks. Nope. <laughs> yeah, John. Me. I would just be John B. Uh, I would die for John B. <laughs> just John Beltran, though. Yeah. Seriously, I, I'm actually gonna buy that shirt and then Sharpie Beltran on it. Oh my god. Tyler's number. I'll give E old number four for Kennedy. Could you survive Jumanji like Robin Williams? Ooh. So if I was paid by the movie <laughs> company, then yes, I think I have a chance. But if you were if you playing mean, the game of Jumanji no, and you were and the game even started happening sense. around no. you. Would you yeah, survive? no, I would see three things and die immediately. What would you I don't be have a chance. Of? I don't know. I don't like, I hate animals. And as soon as the monkey <laughs> came out, he, he freaked <laughs> out. Imagine me. I would have been done immediately. Can't handle Wait. animals. Uh, if it's the old one with Robin Williams, I'm saying yes, we're going to survive. The new one with Rock, no, yeah. I'm not making it out of the game. But uh, trapped in there, Nick Jonas forever. Yeah, and Ke Kevin Hart found a way to get into that movie, so it wouldn't be too bad. Um, but the spider scene, you got to play dead. So I'm, I was just gonna say, dead. there he is. Spider scene is in good, old, good old playing dead. Read. Yeah, you got to just play dead. I don't know if that would work with spiders because if you still have blood in your body, they're still going to come after you. I think I think Reed's spirit animal is just a possum. <laughs> um, Colin, Jumanji, yes or no? 
I've never seen the movie, honestly. It's like one of those movies that it's kind of crazy that I've never seen. So I, I literally have no clue what happens in it. Well, right. that's a Colin going against the grain there. He deserves negative 200 points. I, I just never saw – I never saw it. It's like one of those things that, like, every other kid saw that I just – Minus 200. Next question. I'll take it. I just, I just missed it. Uh, I missed that one. No. I'm not getting negative points. I, I'm going to try. I mean, because I guess you have no option but to try, but I'm pr- probably going to die. Do you think that old – the old guy with the mustache yeah. and the guns is going to – would be a biggest problem for you? It would yeah. definitely be an animal. <laughs> Not the hunter guy. He's terrifying. I, I think I think my issue would be animals. Uh, Breed, yeah. next question. Hunter, the ultimate predator. Uh, ten. Oh yeah, that's true. My bad. What is it for me? And, and what is the hardest position in all of sports? Oh, easy. All right, go read. Um, uh, hold on. I gotta say, uh. Okay. It's got to be, I'll tell you, like, hey. short stop on a Major League Baseball team. Wow, well, I couldn't you're disagree just, more. You're just a dumbass. You're just an idiot. Colin. Baseball is the hardest thing to do in sports. Yeah. You're right. the dumbest human being on earth, Joe. Um, you're literally I, the dumbest. I, I can't I believe actually, you just said that. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going baseball both, too. I think it's, I think, so it's stupid. I think a starting pitcher is like the hardest job like ever. And then my, my like number two is like, I think you could interchange him. I think being a, a kicker in the NFL is really, really hard. Like really hard. Like a lot of pressure. You like you use twice a game sometimes. And it's like the game's always on the line. If you've missed like one. It's like, it's like one of the all time. It's like skill position, like, like pure skill. Very difficult. De- Deleo, I like the kicker one. Yeah, kicker one's good. Um, I think potentially a, a goalie in hockey. That's a really good one, too. Love that. Tyler. Uh, it's either... Stop Googling. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's where we're going to come down to now, Reed. <laughs> I would That's say a personal either... shot. I would say either a go or the quarterback or a goalie in hockey. Yep, I think it's a hockey goalie. NFL quarterback. Is Cor- NFL quarterback. Insanely hard. Yeah. yeah. There's just so much going on. Yeah. No, I think those are both also good. They're all tough, but <laughs> yeah. goal. I think a goalie in hockey is really, really hard, hard though, too, because like you can't pitch. You're just getting fucking shelled. <laughs> skiing, professional skiing. <laughs> Yeah, the one the guys who go off like the eighty foot jumps. Yeah, what's the long jump ski jump? I don't know. I think it's called like vert skiing or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> That's a new word. Colin, question. For, uh, nineteen. Mm-hmm. All right, this is a question about music. What are moments in music that you wished you were in the studio to witness? Oh. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> there's probably a thousand you can give a couple if you want yeah it's like, like, there's a trillion yeah it's like um try to think even like think of a, a bunch but like try to even pick the best out of those i th- i think it's like you gotta like i'm a i'm a beatles hater but i think you gotta go and do like abbey road like you gotta see how that process went. That apparently album. they're uh, you're a beatles hater we see you at the fair man but i i i think they're just going in and seeing like their writing process and like they kind of like built like a lot of the popular music that was today. I think that's like the correct answer. But I like personally, I would like to see like uh, Master of Puppets from Metallica or even something, even like seeing Kanye in the studio. <laughs> Wait, really cool too. Yeah, Callum, look sure. at me. What? What about Sweeney Todd first take? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Sweeney Todd? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, maybe what song? Oh, Pirelli's elixir. Wanna get Can I get a picture? <laughs> <laughs> <Feel> you, <Joanna. laughs> oh, wow, Joanna, let's go. Yeah, that one, Colin, you just got 900 points. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Delea. what? It was his turn. Oh, uh, um.
God damn. Um, I mean, so much rap, like so many Kanye songs. Specifically, any any that jump out to you? Yeah. Um, not really, because I'm awful when it comes to trying to name songs. Yeah, I, I have I no idea. <laughs> That's your answer, just Kanye. Just like every rap song ever made. All the oh. songs. All right. Tyler. <laughs> Are you guys laughing? First I'm time laughing at uh, the Leo. Uh, first time Jake performed Marvin's room. Yep. <laughs> um Dude. Would you, hell would you, yeah. would you bring tissues? Took mine. <laughs> No, Could you imagine, especially if he did it, Probably if he did it, like, if he did a lot of the song, like, just right off the bat? That's what I'm saying. Oh, man. I thought about, I thought about it a lot. It would uh, blow my mind. That's a really good answer. Any others? First time Tone gets a sold-out stage. <laughs> Shout out Hugo Black. Shout out Hugo Black. Insert a clip of Hugo Black right here. I take the money, I do not take photos. 30. No, last one would be. Michael Jackson, Rock With You. That Live. specific song? Yeah. That's interesting. That's not the Michael Jackson song that I would have. All right. Read. Oh, yeah. I'm going. Uh... Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Then I'm going Queen. What Queen then, song specifically? Yeah. Anything specific for Queen? Um, I feel like they made albums back then. Though. There's one that jumps out. I mean, after seeing the movie, almost all of them, but Bohemian. Yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody is... And then I was going to say Myron's Room, because didn't he like just record it like one night just in like a room? And he just did the whole thing, and it was over. In Marvin's room? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that was recorded. I would have asked Tyler that. Tyler, do you that, know? That was like story. I'm up? Yeah. Um, Come on. Pick one that's already been picked. On, 27. Uh, damn it. Also a prime number. 27. No, it's not. I know. I know. It's divided by yeah. Also, Joe Fabian's oh. favorite number. I was, I was seeing if I could throw that by anyone and just be like, hmm. Would you go back to being a baby if you knew all you know now, knowing that it would take you super long for your body to catch up with your thoughts? Ooh. It's like the Benjamin Button break. <laughs> so, like, I don't – so knowing what I know now as oh, in, so, like – So you just had the same life then? No, because you would grow as a as a, you just have a different. You said, like, you said, wait, wait, wait so say it again. Like it, say it one more time. If I took my brain and put it into a bot into a a baby that was like, like days right. old. Well, you're asking a lot of stuff. So, like, does that brain then know how to control the body to speak? <laughs> well, your brain would know, but like your, I don't think your body would be able to catch up to you yet. You would still age as a baby ages, but you would so have. All, so basically, the only adva- only thing that changes is you're just fully cognitive. Correct. Uh, I mean, sure. If that means that I get to add another thirty years onto my life, sure. Okay. And if I get to live middle school and high school over again, yeah, sure. Yeah. What? Tyler. Tyler. So when I'm like <laughs> five, <clears throat> no, seriously, when I'm like five or ten, I know it's gonna happen to me, or like I already know what I know now. Is that what you're saying? It's no, a compl- you're just like a, a like if I took your brain and put it into a day old baby. Yeah, I would do that in a heartbeat. So it's not like your body. It's just like. It's not like exactly. Tyler again. It's a completely different baby. No. Yeah, I would easily do that. I trust just myself stupid, so much. You just couldn't speak. Right, I would do that. Or you like get even... New, you get a whole new life. Dude, we're, that's, we're yeah, like, that's, yeah, right? Like think, you get... Yeah. Think, think about how old we are now. Like nothing is good from 
Like, what do we have to look forward to after this besides, like, maybe marriage and kids? And like, like, it's, just, it's just 29 death. Just, Dude, mm. this is the second time, Tyler. Like, yeah. what's going on, man? What's wrong? Mm, second time what? This is the second I'm time on. you brought up, like, how terrible life is. Hey, just drink oh. your goddamn wine, Tyler. You're bumming me out. 26 to 16, man. All right, well, all right, all right. Uh, Wait, relax, man. You're going to be okay. You keep listening like that. You're going to fucking pop out of the street. <laughs> Read, baby. Yes all or right. no? Um, so, on the one hand, you get, like, a whole new life, and you know all of your mistakes from the past and can make it better. But then if you're the only one going back, you're going to lose all your friends and everything that you have. Mm-hmm. So I, I would say no. Colin. Yeah, I'm with Reed. I think the correct answer is no. You'd be such a weird we- – granted, you could, like, pick your own life, basically, because at that age, you can kind of learn whatever you want to age, you know. But, like, you'd be such a weird kid being so smart. Like, imagine trying to relate to a six-year-old kid. You guys are talking about dinosaurs, and you're like – Dude, that's what I'm hey, saying. Hey, dummy. <laughs> you know? Yo, you'd like, be like I a four-year-old really hanging out with, like, 60-year-olds. Really yeah, oh, that's yeah. That's school yard, though one side you come in now like my brain at uh, zero years old you're gonna be like smart as fuck by the time like you're 15 because that's all you're doing is like learning shit right sure so you're gonna be like really smart so like your potential to like do something is greater and like you have a higher probability of being rich and you know like maybe you go to harvard or something that's what i, I see because because i see it as like I would be I would be running the whole fucking elementary school. Like yeah. I'd be making money at such making a good money. What would you you'd be making money on the elementary school? Yeah, yeah. you know you get in the, you get in, you're like you become a child actor because you're smart or something. You know, <laughs> dude, I would just <laughs> unbox fucking toys on YouTube like that little kid. Dude, that kid, thirteen wow. million dollars a year, bro. If I saw that kid in the street, I'd put him in a headlock. <laughs> oh, that's risky. Like, um, I, my, like, yeah, it'd be a wrap. I would 100%. My problem with it is most people call and said, could you imagine being like a two-year-old and like being a fully functional mentally, but like not being able to like, like even like grab things? That would be insanely frustrating for so many years. Don't feel bad for me. Feel bad for the other kids that don't know that my brain is actually 30 years old. Yeah, that's tough. I also ju- did just say that I was going to put a fucking five-year-old kid in the headlock. <laughs> yeah, but he's oh. a yeah, What, he's- Tyler, I muted you when you went to the bathroom or wherever you Are went. Are you joking, dude? No, that's and, what I've been doing with uh, everybody. I'm coming to much fire comments of you over here. That's crazy. Yeah, that's why I did uh, it, because we were, like, talking, and you were probably talking to yourself in the mirror. Doing I was talking weird. to Colin and Reed for, like, 20 minutes, and then you respond. <laughs> Yeah, we you were muted. I muted you. No, they were just ignoring you. Sorry. Um, Tyler, you're up. Number. Um. Come on, pick one that's already been picked. All right, all my favorite numbers. I feel like are picked. Pick a prime number, man. Two. What? Two. Number two. Yeah. Are you, Are you just serious, walking Tyler? to do push ups right now? Because you've already picked that number. Wow. What? You picked that number. You picked that number, Tyler. Oh. I right. already picked. Too no, bad. you don't yeah. get to repick. You it's have to do 20 push ups. It's in the contract. You have so to do 20 push ups. No, just, just you. Me? Everyone does, I thought. No, you, you do, do 20 push ups. Right now. Oh, I didn't want to. I don't want to do it. I thought everyone had to do it. No, you have to do it. So you picked it on purpose, so everybody has to do it. Do 20 push-ups. This is how it All works. Right. How much do you think he's going to puke? I think he's going to do it perfectly easily. Delay, I need to hear you more. You know how Jordan works, right? You know the greatest competitor of all time? It goes him. Who, Jordan? Me. Well, I, know, I know Jordan's the best competitor ever. Six. Oh, that's a four right there. Um, eight. eight. Yeah, looks, those look really good. Well, it also helps because his, his arms are so short, he's closer to the ground already. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking roasted, Tyler. 20. Yes, I love it. All right, you can keep going, but you've done 20. Pick another number while you're doing that. 
Uh, he said he can't hear because his hater blockers. You crushed those push ups. I'm proud of no, you. I was waiting for one day to read and take notes. I'm not going to say two, I want to, though. Seven. Also, Ooh. Prime. If you were to score the winning point touchdown score to win the game in what championship or in a championship, what sport would it be in? I read that terribly. Does anybody need me to repeat that? I have a question. Yeah, Delaro does. Go, Delaro. Is it just like out of breath? Right. <laughs> you thought, like, is it straight up like just strictly in regards to that moment and an hour after, or are we talking like you score and you also get all the benefits of being the championship winner for that sport? Essentially, the monetary benefits of being an NBA champion or a swimming champion. Like, you see what I'm saying? Agreed. If you want to incorporate that into your answer, you're more than welcome to. But I would say I'm just talking more about the moment. At your way, Mac. Tyler, answer the question. I thought the way it was. No, he was asking a question. You're up first. Uh, oh, man. That's tough. But knowing me and knowing you, I'm going – LeBron's last NBA Finals ever. I hit the game no, with it you. over. It's you. No, he's saying know, he I hits it over. It. He over hits Le- it over LeBron. LeBron LeBron's, LeBron's last. last NBA Finals ever. He gets to. I hit it over him this game. And I had 50 on him the whole game. In his career. And That's I had the game winner over him. That's it. Jason That's Taylor. mine. That's an unbelievable Pretty answer. much, Reed, except LeBron decided to play for 10 more years, so you're wrong. Reed. Well, it'd be yeah. like that. Um, I'm chapped. Well, the Spurs draft me number one overall. <laughs> of course. No, 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 no. We're doing shot. Oh. Come on, man. No, let, let him go. Let, let him go. Let him talk. Oh, go ahead, oh, this is how he gets there. You gotta let him get there. You gotta let you him get there. You think I could have had a cool one, Colin? <laughs> Fuck off. Go ahead, Reed. Continue. Wait, where'd you go to college, though? Did they draft you out of Marymount? No, so I went to Maryland, and we already won a national championship, and I left after one year. Did you go to Maryland from Howard County High? Howard High, yes. <laughs> Howard High. Uh... And uh, I signed a lucrative deal with Nike. Uh-huh. Uh, rookie year. And uh, – Own shoes or no? Yeah, for sure. I won rookie of the year in the NBA. And uh, we go seven games with uh, – Dude, Reed, give it a rest, man. <laughs> let's see. With the Lakers now. I would have to hit a shot at LeBron, too, just because my hate for LeBron is – Oh, yeah. All right. I like the storytelling. Uh, Colin. Spurs, oh, Spurs win their sixth championship. So you both pick pretty much NBA championships. Um, I already won with Maryland. I think I think winning the Masters is like the coolest thing in the whole world. So Dude, sick answer. Oh, well, if you yeah. saw me on that Sunday that Tiger just won, you would definitely think it was the coolest thing in the world. Play, uh, play you know, the uh, the, you know, one v one playoff in the Masters, and Went on a uh, pot or something. Yeah, like a chip in to to go mm. ahead. That'd be that'd be sick. Wow, like you're down, but you're you're off. Yep, just... right. You're off, and he's got way way better. You chip in, and he misses the putt, and. What do you do? What do you do? Wait, hold on. What's your celebration on the yeah, golf course? I get kicked out of there. I pop shirt and I run onto the green. I don't think you, you can break the rules. On the do you jump in the water? Yep. You, you break all. You break all the rules. Everyone's so mad at you. They don't even want to give you the, the trophy anymore. But they have to put that green jacket on you and then they kick you out. Did you give one of the kids your game-winning sock? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I say here. It's a. It's a Kurt Schilling bloody sock too. Um. Uh, I think I have an ace down the middle to win a grand slam. Um, you hit a grand slam? No, an ace in tennis. down the middle. Tennis. Ooh, oh, oh. Slam. You saying like you stun him? Like you think wow. he, he guesses wrong way? Wimbledon? Uh, Do I have Wimbledon? Uh, any grand slam. The reason being Wimbledon. is... Wimbledon. Well, I guess it's not grand slam. It would be any major. 
right? Grand, yeah. grand Slam would be winning them all, but like to win the Grand Slam, though, it would be to complete the Grand Slam for sure. Yeah, so that's the U.S. So much money in tennis. Like tennis is where all the cash is at. Uh, Eleven. Ooh, already called Kyrie twenty push-ups. Yeah. What, what sport would you want to be the GM I like of? What'd you say? What sport would you want to be the GM of? Don't manager. say basketball just because you play, because you you don't know how to handle athletes. You can say basketball, Reed. Don't let him bore you. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I don't know. I'd probably say basketball, obviously. My favorite. NBA sport. GM? Yeah. Colin? For the Spurs? Uh, baseball. Would you moneyball it or not? Uh, no, I would, I, I mean, no. if I had to, I would, but like, I think your best bet is just being the Yankees. You just buy it, Ron. It's easy. I, I think Calvin Bates has a lot of, uh, Twitter, 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 like, imagines. What? <laughs> <laughs> you would base who you would get on your team based off of how good their Twitter is? A hundred percent. Yeah. Delayo. I'm going to. I'm going to just do, go the capitalist, money, hungry pig route. I would probably be a general manager of like a, like a European league soccer football team. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't even think about that. that that's, that's the correct answer in my opinion. But like, like, do you have a team in specific or just no. any of the good ones? Because I don't know. Yeah, I'm the drag. If it had to be based on what I actually know, it would obviously be basketball. But, 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 but even like I, it's the same pick as me, DeLeo, cause like you, but you just pick soccer, which has – Arguably more money. It's just like you just pick the Yankees of that. Right. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Which fucking, I guess, Man U or fucking Real Madrid. Man U. That's a bad. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know. Every answer with you is money. Ty- Tyler, what's your what answer? You I said every yeah, answer with you that? is money. Yeah, I mean, Ooh. I can't have it in the real world. Let me have it in the fake world. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Colin, the very last question of the night. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Bread sticks, 11. Ah. Didn't really? I pick 11? I think that was Reed just picked 11. Yeah. Just picked 11. <laughs> 20 push ups. <laughs> Do you hear the sound? <laughs> I think you did like 30 push ups. Give it a rest, Meathead Burke. That was 20. <laughs> Dude, what was making that noise? Just your floor? Yeah, it's an old wood floor. No, it's not the last question, Mac. What are you talking about? Colin, go ahead. We're not doing last question. I'm disagreeing. <laughs> 51. 51. Yeah, you get these two on. Ooh. See if I know uh, Colin, one of my favorite questions on the whole thing. What? If you were attacked by orcs, what would you do? No, that is a question. The Urkai question is on here, but it's not that one. Yes. What is the your f- most favorite Halloween costume you've ever worn or have been most proud of? Wow. Oh, um, so it's it's a so two. I'll give like a kid answer and then an adult answer. Yeah, that's good. Um, I painted my body yellow and I was pissed one time. <laughs> and, then, how old, how old? and then when I was a kid, I was like fucking Davy Crockett for like five years straight. <laughs> Wait, so the, how old were you when you were urine for Halloween? I thought that was the kid costume. <laughs> no, no, dude, I was an adult then, yeah. How old were you when you were? I don't know, like 23, 22. Oh, so not so long ago. No, it was pretty, yeah. Was... Yeah, yeah, I was, I, I went to a bar and just pissed. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's amazing. That's uh, Deleo. I'm not a big Halloween guy, so like. What about when you were little, growing up? Mm, a ghost. A ghost. Like a sheet with two eye holes, so I could just go get some candy. Yeah, I'm not like I'm really not a big Halloween guy. I think I was. Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah. No. Tyler. You really want me to answer? So you can you guys answer it. It was last year. It's going to be giant now. I, I don't know. It, it's it's definitely debatable. Or Joker. Or no. Drake concert Halloween. Who were you for a Drake concert? 
Tyler's in a full Batman suit. Batman. <laughs> oh, that's Batman. Or that the was year a sick after, one. I rode 88 back to the Pretty. future. Uh, my good so, day. Those are your two. Or freshman year, RIP, undercover greatest white rapper ever besides Eminem. Mac Miller. I remember that one for sure. So which one do you guys want me to pick? Uh, it's not fair. It's not fair. Um, <laughs> Ty, you done? Yeah, he's. Yeah, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking hyped. <laughs> Those are great answers. <laughs> All right. So I think when I was little, I think I was Charlie Chaplin. And I just ended up looking like Hitler. Like a <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> and then but, I was, I mean, Drake concert was uh, V for Vendetta. And then uh, Red Ranger. Go back to that. Red we Power, go back. Red Power Ranger was the best. No, we got to go back to you being Can Charlie you Poole? send us a picture of the can Charlie Chaplin? Who okay, oh, oh, okay Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> that, like, that, he, he's from the 1930s. Like, he, like you obviously look like Hitler. <laughs> Where would that come? Were you like a Charlie Chapman fan growing up, or like where did this come from? Just I don't know. Silent films. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard about you. <laughs> That's awesome. Like awesome. That the first time I've heard that story either. Though. Reed, with Reed, you get a thousand points for that question. No, no, no. He's he's not the Fuhrer. He's he's the silent film maker, yeah. Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, we didn't think that one through. Apparently. All right. Um. I do you want me to add up all these numbers or do you want me to just no. pick? No. So the winner of the first ever Scrolls of Uncertainty goes to Colin Burkhart. Oh. Colin Kissy what Hips. Do you get? What do you even get? I don't know. I didn't add up the numbers, but he clearly has the highest numbers. Who was second place? Colin Kissy uh, Hips, dude. I think Tyler was second, Delay was third, and Reed. Reed, you came in last. However, you had a really strong Whatever the amount of beers that you drink, you need to drink more of those for next time. You had a really good last seven questions. All around or just read? No, just for read. read. No, just read because it took him a little bit to open up. And then all of a sudden he was baby Hitler and it was awesome. What about me, Casey Collin? I think you did good, man. Good enough for second place. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now is the time we all blow out the candle. Wait. Uh, shit. Mine, mine died. All right. Are you blowing it out once? Right now. One, two, three. I did. I already did too, so did Reed. Alright, everybody.